Thank you, and, and, and you know, put some of the pointers in, in, in this report. I, I want to get his response because he's sitting in Beijing. He knows exactly how Beijing is responding to all of this. Uh, this report says, and I quote, and referring to the circumstantial evidence that General Bakshi made a brief mention of, this report says that the Chinese government has, uh, has, has I'm purely reading from this. It says the government, Chinese government has lied, obfuscated, covered up, blocked the flow of information. It took Beijing nearly three weeks to even acknowledge there was human to human transfer. Wuhan Institute of Virology and Chinese government stymied and manipulated a WHO 28 day review of COVID 19's origins. Uh, Wuhan Institute and China silenced medical workers and journalists trying to report on the outbreak. And point number five it makes. 54 Chinese health officials confirmed guidelines issued to destroy samples of coronavirus from the Wuhan Institute because they suppressed all records at the WIV and they wanted to hide something. That's what this report says. Now, how would Beijing respond to a report like this, Mr. Tangit? Well, it's a, it's a partisan report put out by the Republicans who've been fairly clear on what they think of China. Uh, I don't think that's a, a big mystery. The idea that they would be using propaganda to push a point is, is not unusual. Uh, just one clarification. I am a doctor of laws, not medicine. Right. I'm a political and economic affairs commentator. Yeah. So I'm not speaking from a medical background, but I'm quite surprised that the, the panel doesn't include more, um, you know, let us say more leading lights from the medical profession. I mean, I'm hearing a, a whole raft of conspiracy theories. One, that the we Americans and Chinese somehow uh, work together. I, I really don't understand it. No, you don't have anyone who's, uh, who's an accredited virologist. The, the young lady is, uh, is that is not her field. And there are questions about her, her background. I understand that people feel very strongly emotionally about what they think are facts. But facts are something that you can't change. They are you, uh, what they are, saying that everybody knows something. Uh, well, everybody used to know that the world was flat, but that didn't work out very well either. So at, at this juncture, I mean, Beijing is kind of puzzled as to why people are putting in all these wild conspiracy theories. The only conclusion is that m the countries who did not handle COVID very well are trying to escape uh, any kind of blame by blaming China. Instead of looking internally at what went wrong, how they should be responding more effectively, uh, they're uh, saying, oh, yeah. it's not our fault. Uh, the Chinese did this to us, uh, and et cetera. So uh, it, it's, uh, it seems to be much more about scapegoats than anything else.